my name is Ricky Morris. I am with Visionary Style. I have a website called Ricky J. Morris at VisionaryStyle.com. I'm here to talk about dressing your curves for the summer. The idea when summer's coming, it's not about looking to cover up what we haven't gotten ready for it. It's about displaying what we know we already have and knowing how we want to display it. And so with me, as far as, I mean, I've been so many different shapes and sizes growing up. And so um, it's always trying to figure out a silhouette that I'm trying to create when I am getting dressed. I'm always looking to look feminine. And so I'm always thinking the hourglass, thinking of ways to accentuate my waist, all the little features that we have, and especially as being women of color. As you notice, I am well blessed. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like, I love clothes, mm -hmm. but a lot of clothes I can't wear even if it's my size because I have this. Mm -hmm. And so, how can you help me when I like to dress to kind of slim it down, if, if I may say? I don't know if that's the yeah. right term, but mm -hmm. kind of minimize mm -hmm. it. Like, for instance, this, what I have on, see how it has like the black lining? This makes my bust move inward. So look for things that kind of have a cut that curves it in. And like for, for up here, since what you would want to do is do like a V-neck, a skinny V. And so what it does is it brings things in instead of displaying it outward. Now my, my problem is the midsection. Mm -hmm. It was the bust, but guys understood that, so he took it down a little bit for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's just the fat just started dropping because it's all fat. And now the tummy part though, you know, um, I'm the type of person, I, I like my clothes fitted, mm -hmm. but that just, I, even putting on verbals, it still shows. Right. You know, so I wonder how, what, what type of color, color clothing or what type of clothing do you really do to knock that down and still look an hourglass? Since you're my mom, and I'm really familiar with your figure, um, though you may see, feel like you're full all over, you have things that accentuate smallness, like the shape of your back goes inward, and you're, you have still a waistline. You just have to use, get the, butt, the bra, the lift up, so that you can display the waistline, and then wearing thicker belts, and then with the, the, the hip part, you have the pencil skirt and so that is sucking everything in and showing that you have the, the small waist and skinny back line and so it'll give you your hourglass if If I go into like a full size skin, they kind of look at me like that and you hear because I'm like small here, right. but it's all here. But where would you place the belt? Like if it doesn't have a belt loop, I don't know where to place it. Do you place it here? Do you place it here? Because I don't feel like I have a waist. So where do you place the belt? When you're getting dressed, you play with your clothes. You play with, does it work here? Does it work there? So you just try and find that, that area that gives you the look that you're looking for. Like I literally stand in front of my mirror and figure out my, look at my body and say, okay, well, how do I want to dress it today? What do I want to accentuate today? And I look in my closet and I say, okay, well, I want to accentuate this today. So I'm going to wear a, a pulled in dress and then I'm going to wear a waist belt to do that. And like I said, as far as finding the area that fits you, it's all about just taking the belt and like guiding it and figuring out which place looks best. And I want to talk about color because I love how you guys shoes and your, it, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it insinuates. And so tell us about the color, about how we can play with color that everything has to match because I'm a matching queen. <laughs> like, everything has to match. Everything has to match. But I know that sometimes that you don't have to. In regards to color with our curves, um, I always, you do dark on bottom, bright on top. It just depends on wherever area that you feel like it's just, you know, you don't want to put on display, don't put the bright color there. Um, but as far as playing with color, it's all about, like, what I do is I match my hues, all the, the colors in my skin, and I'm actually reading a book now about matching different hues of your skin, like the green in my vein is my power color, different things like that. Like, I have undertones of yellow in my skin, and so when I wear yellow, it kind of shows me open and vulnerable, and so you just play with different colors, you put them near your skin and you see if what it does for you, like if it brightens it up. And as far as like trying not to match, I don't try to match, I just try to create a story 
Um, and that's pretty much what Fatima does with when she's putting together her racks. It's a color story that you're creating and not like a, a matchy matchy thing. So